crank this morning got out of her, I opened the door on this thing over there and she climbed right out to go play with all of her toys and to sort of run around the room. She doesn't really run, but uh, she was definitely excited to get a chance to come out and play with everything. Anyway, I just thought we would do a little video while I'm dragging her entire thing down the hallway to my office where she's going to hang out with me today. I don't think she likes the dragging part very much, though. She wasn't ready for this. Oh, yeah. You're rolling now. There's a little kids at their door. Oh, I didn't really get this stuff out of the way well enough, did I? Okay, here we go. So she's actually doing pretty well as far as an update goes. She, um, uh, you know, she went to the vet. She had a little operation, not the big operation they want to give her later. Um, since then, her poop is coming out at a more reasonable diameter. But other than that, it's still basically the same story where she strains real hard to poop and it just kind of leaks out most of the time. So I think that the further uh, surgery later is definitely warranted. And in the meantime, I'm still having to give her quite a few baths because uh, she hates being wiped still and uh, she needs a lot of cleanup. And she's on a pee pad, as you can see, which is uh, pretty much the only way she's going to use the bathroom now to pee because uh, getting around is a little tough for her. Hi, Custard. Okay. <laughs> Custard wants to run out the door, so this is all going to get very tricky. Don't do it, pal. No, no, no. Come on. Back up. Back up. Okay, I'm just going to leave her right there for the moment. I don't know, but look, you can't come out because of this. Hi, buddy. All right. So, uh, so that's the basic update on her. I think you got all the important facts. I'm going to try to put everybody back where they belong now. I thought that video might be more interesting than it probably was. That's fine, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Speaking of, uh, this little guy is supposed to be in here having breakfast. And I'm going to let uh, Gadget out of her room. Gadget's been having breakfast with the faculty every day. Uh, she does really well with them now. I actually trust her with them to be unsupervised. So, I'm going to do that real quick. She does, uh, she has a little much for them once in a while, but uh, there's no fights that are starting. She, she's pretty reasonable about everything. Good morning, Maggie. Okay, let's go. Oh, look, there's Maggie's keys. I guess Cash let her keep it. See ya. Oh, there's Maggie's pee. <laughs> Straight to the breakfast table. You know what's up, don't you? Yeah, you do. She's so good to little crank when we put them together, usually in the evening. She immediately wants to clean her. She does a real good job. And uh, she brings her toy, her favorite toy, to crank all the time, too. It's her little mouse that's upstairs, a little Rosie the uh, rat mouse. It's that one that's the fur with the little leather face. She loves it. Okay. All right, I got to get my coffee on. Ari, you didn't have any real breakfast yet because you were hanging out with Teaspoon for a minute. Did you want to come have some? Hi. Yeah, you want to come have some breakfast with your friend? They're not really friends. There you go. You can eat. She's fine. Okay, buddy.
nice to see Crank get a chance to actually nurse. Not that she needs it, but that's got to feel nice. Gadget's a real good mom. Although, any time that she accidentally puts any pressure on Crank's little leg, Crank yells, and Gadget clearly doesn't understand why. So I keep having to go over there and sort of rearrange them a little bit. She takes such good care of her kitten. You don't have to get up just because we're looking at you. All right. <laughs>